Hey guys, welcome back to part two of custom slash manual object sizing and positioning on the screen based on portrait landscape view. If you're here and you just found this tutorial, go back, check out part one. There's a link above there for you, help you out. But uh, as you can see, we've got our button in the portrait view in the bottom left hand. And as we switch to landscape view, we've resized it, we've repositioned it manually custom on the screen. So that's what we're going to do. Um, again, go back, check out the old tutorial, the, the previous tutorial for kind of the setup stuff. And now what we're going to do is now that we've we've established our outlet here, we've added the property to the outlets, we're going to go into the implementation and uh, put that in place for our button and give it its position based on where we want it. So the first thing that we have to do, since we've added the property to the outlet, we have to synthesize that property. So synthesize the boom button, and there we go. The next thing that we have to do is we have to put in a method. So basically, if it's in the portrait view, the button's going to be here. If it isn't in the portrait view, in other words, else, if else, it's going to be positioned here, resized here. So we're going to simply put in a void and we're going to put in the method will animate rotation to interface ob orientation so you can see it puts in all the all the information there for us so the will animate will animate rotation to interface orientation UI interface orientation to interface so basically you tab over and it gives you your default settings there we're going to add a curly bracket and at this point hit return and this is where we're going to write our if then if then statement so if to interface orientation equals UI interface orientation portrait, which is straight up and down. We want close bracket. We want the boom button dot frame. So the where where the button's gonna be placed on the screen equals the core graphics rectangular make make. Okay, then it gives all these um, the CG float X Y width height and that's exactly what we want so basically as you look at the portrait view if it's in the portrait view we want the button to be positioned in the X coordinate here positioned Y coordinate here and then we're gonna give it a width and a height so we're gonna fill those in just one second let's go ahead and write the else here so if we uh, let's see end our brackets there then we're gonna write in else, open our brackets. Looks like we've got one extra bracket there. The else is gonna be if it's in any other position. So if it's in the landscape view, we want it to be this. So boom button dot frame equals core graphics rectangular make. Again, we're gonna fill in the, these positions here. Okay, so we've got it set up. You can see we've got two errors because we haven't we haven't defined our float x y width height yet. So what we're gonna do is go over to the sound button view controller, and we're gonna take a look at where the position is because this is where we want it when it's in the portrait view. So you can see we've got a twenty x is twenty seven 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 two forty one two oh seven. So we're gonna fill that in for the portrait core graphics float. So we've got twenty. Click there, 777. Again, this could be anything on the screen. You could define this as 600. You could define this at 50. And this is basically from the left of the screen, it's 20 pixels away. From the top of the screen, it's 777 pixels away. And then our width, we're just going to put in 241 as it's right now. And our height is 207. Okay, so that's our portrait view. Now what we're going to do for the else or the landscape view is we're going to define x, let's say we want it 300 pixels away from the left side. And then we want it 100 pixels away from the top. The width, we're going to make it smaller, so we're going to put it uh, 80 pixels by 80 pixels. Okay, so we've established both the portrait, the landscape, and how the buttons are going to change. And again, you can do this for multiple buttons. So if you're going to do this for, uh, you know, button two, you would have to establish the outlet and your header, header, and then you would go boom, button two dot frame, 
and give it its coordinates or its core graphics um, coordinates there. Okay, since we've put in place um, our outlets, we have to release them and we've retained them, so we've got to release them here. So self dot boom button equals nil. And this is basically freeing up the memory. And then the other place is the uh, void dialog. So we're going to put in boom button release. And that's just memory management. If you're not familiar with that, um, look, go back and review some of the Objective C uh, memory management parts of application building. So we've got everything built. Let's go ahead and run it, see how it looks. All right, so you can see based on the current portrait view, the button's going to be what we specified. So it's going to be 20, 20 pixels away from the left, 777 from the top to the corner, and then it's going to have a width of 241 and a height of 207. Now as we flip the orientation of the landscape, you can see the button was the buttons moved and resized on the screen manually to what we've set the core graphic rectangular frame to. So again, we've got 300 pixels away from the left to the corner here and 100 pixels from the top to the corner. And then we've resized the button as well, so it's 80 by 80. So it almost looks like your, your home screen on your iPad or your iPhone. So that is the basics to um, programming a manual custom positioning of your button or your objects on your screen and uh, definitely gives you a little bit more flexibility as you guys are building and optimizing for the iPhone, the iPad, um, etc. So it gives that user functionality a little bit better feel. Again, if you have any questions on this tutorial or want to learn something uh, maybe a little bit off kelter, we'll try to help you out with that and uh, go from there. So hopefully this tutorial helped and uh, peace out. We'll see you guys later.